to Mars and see the face. Pick the star and leave this place. We break our earth just like the lakes. Physical reality is a consciousness program created by digital codes. Numbers and numeric codes define our existence. Human DNA, our genetic memory, is encoded to be triggered by digital codes at specific times and frequencies. Those codes awaken the mind to change and evolution of consciousness. 1111 is one of those codes, meaning activation of DNA. The main goal for this project is to bring, uh, bring the whole UFO phenomenon, not only the UFO phenomenon, but 2012, everything that's happening right now, basically all the knowledge that was hidden from us to bring it to the light because you know you, you you've had you've had people that have done it before you've had um you know i know uh the wu-tang clan uh killer priests a lot of artists have been involved in this already but my my goal is to bring this uh fifth dimension project to the masses well, i think it will raise awareness especially in the black communities where we don't really have a lot of people as myself that even understand and know this information all across the nation and even in music you're kind of hearing a little bit but people are spiritually evolving whether they know it or not I mean it's kind of like when you're in a recession like what we're, we're in right now and wars and rumors of wars and things like this it's like only thing you can do is go up and higher your vibration and higher your thought frame so a lot of people are actually getting tired of hearing uh, the flossing or the negative you know people are looking for those uplifting stories those stories of the common man, uh, struggle, because everybody is struggling right now at this point, so I think it be, will be received greatly. This is gonna be one of the first time where someone someone actually that looked like us, that come from where we come, to actually bring the whole UFO phenomenon in the fifth dimension to the commercial world. It's already been in the con commercial world, but not as far as in the urban world. Like a lot of people, when you talk to them about UFOs, extraterrestrials, they kind of get uncomfortable, they really don't understand it. So, um, I think for the most part, that's the whole purpose behind the Fifth Dimension Project, to raise people vibrations, to bring awareness, to bring, you know, good conscious music back to the music game. Because a lot of people, whether they want to admit it or not, and actually they are getting woke up, you know what I'm saying, spiritually, and they are seeing they're tired of their situation. But those who elevate their consciousness, those who uh, have pure and good hearts and have good intentions will be able to raise their vibrations and get the light body. Uh, tell people all the time the light body is not about knowing a bunch of ancient wisdom and having a bunch of knowledge, but it's about having a pure heart because once you convert to the light, then you get to read from the caustic records which are already there. So all the, you will have all the knowledge once you come become light. The light body is, a, is something that you are granted at the initiation process from the hierarchy and the uh, Galactic Federation of Light. Everyone has a light body deep with inside of them. It's your choice. So getting a light body is, is more of a, a ascending so high to a level to where you are initiated, you have these powers of Christ. You can turn water into wine. You can levitate. You can fly. You can have telepathy. These are things to be true. These are not myths. It's a science behind all these things. And that's what the light body. But it's only given to those with pure heart and pure mind. When you activate in your light body, um, it's something that's inside you, encoding your DNA, and you will feel it. You know, you will actually feel your body starting to change. You will feel, you, you will question everything around you. As a people and as the human race, we've been conditioned. We've been dumbed down. We've been lied to. We've been conditioned to accept the truths and by design through education, religion, government, and general culture, we've been lied to and kept away from real truths and unconditional truths. Part of this conditioning is to keep the mind preoccupied and focused on things that are not true, to perpetuate misinformation and the wrong ideas. And by doing so, the powers that be are keeping the masses of the human race away from real truths. And if you're doing anything negative, this is the time to stop because karma is speeding up as the planet speed up. To me, I, I believe that 12 is happening right now. Uh, right now, the planet is currently shifting into uh, new dimensions. Uh, we were currently in the third dimension and we're shifting into the fourth and the fifth now. So uh, what 2012 means to me is ascension. It means uh, awakenings. 
uh, you know, of people becoming aware of who they are, where they come from, and where they're going. We were all put here for a mission. And that, that mission is to do something good and to help the earth and help our universe. If you ask the average person, who are they? Where do they come from? Nobody can tell you. So the whole purpose of the fifth dimension and uh, what 2012 means to me is just an awakening. You know, of course you have your movies, uh, 2012, and a lot of people speak about doom and fear and the end of the world is coming. But to me, the end of the world is not gonna happen. The end of the world as we know it, as far as money and government systems, but it's gonna be a birth of a new world. Basically, uh, what we're headed to and a rapid speed is the year 2012. I mean, there's so many different theories about uh, what's gonna happen in 2012. Some say it's doomsday, some say it's an awakening of uh, spiritual consciousness. It's actually both. So the old world is dying and we're shifting into a new world, which is the fifth dimension, which our planet is shifting back into right now. So 2012 to me is an awakening, a global awakening. It's a elevation of our consciousness, it's unity consciousness where everybody around, all around the world, different colors, races, uh, don't matter who you are, all coming together for the, the biggest show in human history. It's basically, it's a day when uh, the old world is uh, basically destroyed and a new world um, basically emerges from this old world. And the new world is always supposed to be better than the old world that we uh, previously had. I know it's going to be change. I know that for a fact. I know um, it's changes already happening, but I think as we approach 2012, um, you know, I don't want to get into scaring people, but it's only fear and being scary if you live in and if you're trapped into that third dimension, that lower frequency. To people like myself that's raising their vibrations, this don't apply to us because when the um, destruction do come, we won't be here anyway. So. Uh, where, where would I be in 2012? I don't plan on being here on this planet. You know, God allowed me to leave. <laughs> I don't want to be here for the things that will take place. But my point of view and what I think, I personally uh, think it will be, it's going to be some big changes. Some things that we probably, we, I'm not going to say probably, but we've never seen before. So that's the, that's the thing, you know, it shouldn't take something uh, bad to happen for us to realize we have to work together. It's not about a black and white thing. This is about every human being on this planet because it's not about, it's, it's, it's never been about color because we all are energy, we all are light. Uh, people are going to see things that they thought they would never see before. Uh, I do believe that the motherships will be here. Uh, they already here actually, but I do believe around that time they will make themselves known. I, I believed in, you know, um, extraterrestrial beings as a kid. This is something that's been with me for a, a very long time. Um, I believe the, um, the UFOs are real. Um, I believe that, you know, um, you know, sometimes they come in, they come out for what reasons, we really don't know, you know what I'm saying, but I, uh, as far as the sightings, I do believe some of the sightings may be questionable, some may be real, but for the most part, they are here. like us, uh, you know, saying that that's not afraid to speak about these things. And maybe by us doing this, you know, more people start coming forward and won't be afraid to do it. Or uh, won't be afraid to step forward with the information they have that they've been hiding because they're afraid to be ridiculed. So um, I think for the most part, people are going to perceive it well, but I do believe it's going to start controversy, which we ready for that. Uh, you know, anybody try to come against our movement, we, you know, ready to explain, break down what we understand and what we know. So. But for the most part, I think people will perceive it well. I think it's on. People are gonna take to it, and the music is gonna be good. So you can't deny good music. It's, it's, it's just good music for your soul, for your vibrations, for your spirit. Like when you hear it, it's an experience. It's a lifestyle. It's a movement. It feels good to you. Some kind of secret I will share with you. Uh, it's one half of the track stars. So uh, we both have the same roles. You know, we both play instruments. We just. I use his brain and he'll use my brain and we'll just kind of bring it together and create. Looking out for you know, track, new products from Track Stars and Fifth Dimension, uh, Green Genius, you know. Be looking out for us. We're we here for a real reason to, to open up minds, hearts, bodies, and souls. Shout out the Audio Art Group, you know what I'm saying? Signing in live, shine from the Track Stars. Those are my people. Support them, support their movement.